So you have created your app design mockup, and this is an example you can see on the screen. You want to see it in iBooks to see if it works. Now, this process will probably work with other software, but I'm going to use the iPhone and iBooks because it's the most common platform, and frankly, it's what I've got. So how do we view this content on my iPhone to make sure it looks the right way? Because remember, it's really important when doing any design that you always check it in the correct resolution before you send it out. Because when you see it one-to-one -one scale, you see if it's working or not. Anyhow, let's get on with this and um, start viewing it in iBooks. So the first thing we do is we just go to File, Export, and go to our desktop. And I'm going to choose EPUB Fixed Layout and click Save. This is called Example. I'm doing all pages. I'm going to rasterize the front page, the first page to be the cover, that's fine. I don't need navigation page and spread control is fine. So I'm just going to go and click OK. And that's now thinking about it, it's going to appear on my desktop as soon as this bit's finished. Now I've got some missing files in this, but this is an example, so I don't really worry about this. But if you do have this, then you can really fix this before you go into um, some your coursework. Go into the links panel and just relink um, everything. Tell InDesign where the files actually are, otherwise you get problems. But for this example, we're OK. So click OK. And this is it in iBooks. So straight away it pops up on my desktop and I can just navigate by clicking left and right on my keyboard. That is nice and easy. But I want to view it on my iPhone to make sure it looks correct. So I'm going to close this down and close this down. That's our file just there on my desktop. So how do we get this onto our phone? Just opening up an iBooks isn't enough. They don't sync between itself, each other if you have your own EPUB. So what I use is Dropbox. So I've got Dropbox here. I'm going to open this up in my university folder. Doesn't actually matter where. And just copy this into Dropbox. So that's uploading to the cloud right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my iPhone and I'll show you how to do this from there. This is my iPhone. So the files which I need or the software I need is Dropbox. Remember I have uploaded it to Dropbox on my Mac. So click on there and go to University folder at the top because I've got two forms of Dropbox here. And you'll see at the very top we have Example EPUB, which is what we saved the previous file as. So click on that and you'll see that it's trying to load and it doesn't know what to do with it. So don't give up at this point. At the top right, just click on the three buttons and got some options here. What I want to do is export. And in my iPhone, Go to open in. Now it looks like the same menu, but it means that we can use a third party program to view the file. So there is iBooks. Copy to iBooks. And in a second it'll appear just there. So I can now scroll through and I can see that things are the correct resolution, correct size, and that is very nice. So that's how to do a quick preview of your work in InDesign to iBooks.